Tell what we can on here with Corbin, a Melanoir that is, I believe, about two years old that we had for a three week in kennel training program. And I've been working the dog with the leash and the electric collar because the program doesn't really allow for off-leash training in that short period of time but we have built up pretty good on all the signals that are included <coughs> as you see no use of the leash I don't use the electric collar unless there's a mistake and the dog responds super fast super correctly to the sit command only Verbal control is what we're after. Here I'm demonstrating how to connect the opening of the door with a sit, which he did lightning fast and super correct, waiting and staying until the release command is given and rewarded. Down. Down behavior, pretty fast and straight. He knows he has to wait until he is released from that position. Either by calling and he has to come to me or by getting the release command and can just do whatever. That's boy. That's my boy. Now we're going to do the place command. Place. No use of the leash. The leash is just the safety net to limit the options. I'm moving around to ensure he's not going to leave the place just because place. I'm moving. And here is what secures the behavior. I say the word place, which is connected to behavior of place. being on the doggy cart, and I, I, I start bringing slight tension into the leash. And normally he should follow it, the tension in the leash, but since I said place, he is taught to resist the tension in the leash by hanging on to the board. Super stabilizes the behavior. Here I'm doing another release command training. Good, good, good. Place is what we're asking for. Of course, super attraction to the full dinner dish. I prevent him with the negative marker to get off the board without being released put it back down again he stays and he looks at me as key here he has to look at me in order to trigger me to give the release command <laughs> 